across the border into Russia and we've got our second puncture of the day. We've got a 10 day transit visa, 4,000 kilometres to cover, and only 8 days to cover it in for if you're on the ferry in uh, Japan. It's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. <laughs> So we just ran out of petrol, luckily we had some to spare, but now we have a little problem. As you can see... Day three, more welding. <laughs> it's not raining yet though. Yet. Fully expecting it to. The good things is though that we're making a lot of new friends. <laughs> Felicia. Big as a hair. You do. Well, they're motorbikes. I think there's something missing, Andy. Yeah, there's something missing. The rear wheel's missing. Just riding through Russia on tarmac. We've got a puncture as we're doing like 120 kilometers per hour. Luckily, it wasn't raining. It's finally stopped raining. Uh, this is our third puncture on this run. <laughs> uh, uh, and um, the, the tyre on this wheel is really hard to take off on the, on the rear, really hard. In Tajikistan we took us about six guys to try and take it off, it was a pain in the arse. Uh, so we pulled over, we flagged down a couple of Russians and they've taken our wheel. Um, it's not here. Maybe they'll come back with it, maybe they won't. What happens if they don't come back? <laughs> Taken off the tyre, they're going to put the punk, uh, patch the tube up, and then hopefully we can carry on. To the <laughs> right. This is the Iron Angels clubhouse in Russia. Luckily, they took us in for the night. So a couple of days ago, I was still with high spirits, laughing about a puncture, but we've got another one. Another puncture on our back tyre. <laughs> going about 120 kilometres an hour, we nearly came off. My heart is going crazy. <laughs> I thought we were going to die that time. Yeah, that was pretty scary. Uh, right. What are we going to do that? No idea. <sighs> Okay. Um. I'm finding it much faster if I walk there because Andy's back here somewhere. Keep going. <laughs> um, I hope we make it. <laughs> so the inner tube has completely blown. A lorry driver stopped. This guy has stopped. A bunch of bikers have stopped. I don't know what they're doing with my tyre, but I'm not allowed to touch it. Um, we're very happy, we're very grateful for them though. <laughs> so what's happened is I jumped on the back of one of the guys' bikes with the wheel and the tube and another motor, uh, motorcyclist took the tyre and we've all shot off to look for a tyre shop. So um, <laughs> we, I left the two bikers at the tyre garage and uh, I've hitchhiked to lift back with this very friendly man. It's very good. Yuan. Yan. Yeah. Thank you, Yan. Yan? Ivan. Ivan. I've hitchhiked to lift with Ivan. Uh, he's very friendly. He's taking me back. It's pretty dark now. Hopefully, Elisa and the motorbike are still there. We'll get the tyre and the wheel back on. And then maybe we'll get to Vladivostok. We'll see. So I made it back to the bike last night. We put the rear wheel back on in the dark. Ended up riding to a hotel, found a hotel eventually. Now we've got an 18 inch tube and a 17 inch wheel uh, tire and it's um, really slow going, it feels really wobbly. Uh, and we've got 500 kilometers left, we're going a maximum of like, how fast are we going? 65 to 70? 65 to 70 kilometers per hour. And now the exhaust, as you can maybe see, has literally split. And so we sound really loud. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we just, we just like.